some time ago we started uh, an Occupy movement that uh, it grew from the original Occupy movement, but it wasn't actually Occupy because Occupy got banned in Eugene. It came under a protest movement called Sleeps. Uh, I wasn't in that group because we started another subgroup from that called Awake, which is Autonomous Willing Anarchists for Causes Everywhere. We were with the title and the movement, but we weren't with the way they were running it. <coughs> so me and a group of friends, we decided to start going on top of the Lane County Courthouse. Uh, so we had a camp up there for a good almost five days, being harassed by the cops daily. Um, they were trying to take down our signs, so we kept chalking them up. And we said, well, hey, we're going to chalk on your windows if you take our signs down. And so what happens? They take our signs down. So my friend goes up, and he's writing on the, uh, on the windows. Mm -hmm. And so we're sitting there for about an hour or two, and then, like, cops come up, and then, like, everybody from the sleeps camp comes running up to the courthouse, and it turned into a big brawl really fast. Uh-huh. Um, uh, and all you hear in the media was protester kicks cop in face. And nobody from the protest movement kept kicked a cop in the face. It was uh, an old vet that got scared by the cops because there was ununiformed cops. What can you tell us about Whoville? Whoville. Whoville branched out after uh, the success of the Awake Camp. Uh huh. Uh, a guy named Tin Man. He started his own camp. It started underneath bridges. Mm -hmm. And then farther after that, uh, he ended up like getting in trouble with the cops, so they kept shutting his camps down, so he kept numbering them. And like, so I remember the fourth one uh, lasted the longest, and then most of the other ones got shut down, like Whoville 8 got shut down, Whoville 7 got shut down. And then it just kept counting in numbers. And I just recently found out now that's at like 14. So uh -huh. right on. I'm glad to see that he's doing good. All right, man. What do you got, Savage? You're going to show me something here. I really What's got going involved on? in the sleeps movement All right, man. after I almost, uh, I went to the psych ward for a bit. So I uh -huh. came out and I still had the scrubs. And after my homeboy went to jail for this protest movement, and so did Rain and Angie, I decked these out. <laughs> We are all peacekeepers. Peacekeepers, man! I love that! Oh, the freedom fighter. And so they, they wouldn't let me in to go visit my friend in jail because of some trace amounts of metal in my clothes. So I'm like, well, fine. If you're really not going to let me go in and visit my friend, I'm going to come in and nothing but scrubs. And you did? And I did. And it worked. So you freedom fighter sleeps with SFA, man. What, what's SFA? That was an organization started back in the original Occupy to stop uh, supposed gang violence. There was jugglers against pirates, against the Rainbow Family, against deadheads. Uh -huh. And so this was just a symbol of all the families uniting as one to, uh, for the greater cause of the movement. And not uh -huh. to have violence against each other, but to put their differences aside again and be able to go on with the movement. Awesome. Once again... Dr. J.V. Savage, peacekeeper, freedom fighter sleeps with SFA. That's awesome, man.